Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we will discuss briefly on the transit of Mercury which is happening in the sign of Leo or which is going to happen on 26th, is it 26th? Yes, 26th of September, Mercury is going to transit to Leo and it will stay there for another 20-25 days. And today we will discuss what's going to happen and as promised i made this video today and yesterday i had made a video on what will happen on 25th december this year when there are six planets conjunct in the sign of sagittarius so i also gave the most wonderful prediction which nobody has ever given maybe <laughs> no masala no spice you get up you go to the bathroom and then you go to the office and then you go for lunch maybe all right and yes somebody told that no we are not going to the office because it's christmas that day yes so you go to the church okay <laughs> so prediction has changed now no office it's the church all right and uh, many people appreciated that video and many 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 people have expressed their gratitude to me for uh I won't say enlightening but I would say they said that I had clarified these doubts and I emphasize this point that whatever happens in your life is ultimately dependent on the dashas and not on the transits okay so first dashas we check and then we see how the planets are going to uh, align themselves with the results okay through transits so transits are used to time events okay so transits alone cannot give you any prediction, especially transits of uh, short planets like moon, especially, okay, even Mercury to some extent. But nowadays, because the world is becoming a very diverse place, you know, people are always traveling, learning new things. So in my opinion, I think Mercury's transit is a bit important these days. It, it's ev even more important than Sun and Venus sometimes, and even more important than Mars, okay? So sometimes I discuss the transits of Mercury also. But yes, whichever houses Mercury rules depending on your ascendant, those flavors you will get. Okay, but what happens in your life ultimately? So suppose Mercury is your fourth lord. Fourth house means so many things. Anything can happen. Fourth house is the house of your mother, education, your inner peace, sense of comfort, your vehicles, your luxury. Everything is... The fourth house that gives you a sense of comfort okay so now what happens in the fourth house will depend on the mahadasha the antardasha and the pratyantardasha that you are running they decide what happens in our life okay and once you are very clear with the dashas you know what is going to happen then you see the how the transits are integrating with the dashas okay so transits are like the icing on the cake but if you don't have a cake, you cannot just eat the icing. I mean, of course you can eat, but that's not a cake. That's icing, you see. <laughs> so let's have the cake first. And over that, we put the icing. And maybe you can put a cherry also, okay. <laughs> and yes, some people have asked me that, uh, will I make some video on Janmashtami? Yes, uh, hopefully I will make it very soon by tomorrow night or I will try my best to make it. And... Uh, there you go. If you are new to the channel, then please uh, subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your dashas or any other event of your life or any other area, then you can always go down to my uh, to the description section below my videos uh, where you will find the link to my website. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And some of you ask, what are my plans for Janmashtami? Well, on in europe we are celebrating it on saturday uh by tithi and in india it's on friday so i will be uh oh sorry i said the opposite in europe it is on 23rd friday and on india it is 24th saturday okay so i will be uh going to belgium with uh, some of my god brothers uh, to a very nice place called radha desh where a lot of uh, spiritual people are going to come almost uh, a thousand people i guess and we will discuss on lord krishna and his pastimes okay 
All right, now Mercury will feel bad that we are not discussing about him and this video was about Mercury. So let's start about Mercury. So what, what Mercury represents? Mercury represents the third house. He is the original lord of the third house and he is the Karaka for the 10th house. He is the primary, he is the main Karak for the 10th house. Okay. So therefore, wherever Mercury transits, whichever house, depending on your ascendant, then those houses can play a prominent role in your career for that month okay or for those 20 25 days now the question is what will mercury do okay so you check the lordships of mercury so whenever mercury transits leo what i have seen is we become very aggressive towards our career related issues okay now this could happen not only if, uh, I mean this could happen more if Mercury is the Lord of the 6th or the 10th or the 11th house, houses but in general I have seen because Leo gives us a confidence or a fake confidence sometimes that everything is in our control, you can do whatever you want, you don't have to listen to anybody, you, know, you are your own boss. So many times uh, people see that when Mercury transits Leo, now, many people they uh, become entrepreneurs they want to open their own company and they end up opening sometimes okay so let us use this transit very positively so what we can do is if we have some ambitious plans regarding our career okay and if the dasha is supporting then now is the time we can execute those plans okay because why, why do i say this because now suppose you uh, want to go to another company okay you want a hike then now you will be able to state yourself very clearly okay this is the technology i want to work this is the position i want this and this is the salary that i want or if you want to leave a company and start your own business this is also a very good time because now you will be able to say no i'm done with this okay because when mercury is in cancer currently it's in cancer then the problem is we 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 tend to think that it is better to take decisions based on our emotions which is not a bad idea but not a very great idea also at times and then and that at times can give us a lot of a lot of unnecessary analysis okay which is not required <clears throat> So people say that when Mercury transits water signs, uh, then there is no analysis before acting. No, it's not like that. It could be or it could be the other way all around also. You are analyzing so much that one day you will start thinking, what should I do at the end? Okay, so it's like paralysis through analysis. But when Mercury transits uh, fire signs, it is relatively much better because fire signs give you a sense of achievement, a sense of confidence. If afflicted fake confidence of course that yes I can do it by myself I don't need anybody and therefore mercury can do very good in Leo sometimes okay so now if uh, your dasha is indicating that there will be big things in your career then it could happen during this time or especially if mercury as I said before is transiting the 6th 10th or 11th or the ascendant also or uh, if mercury sometimes is transiting the second house or fifth house then also it can happen but if your dasha is indicating something related to marriage then uh, if mercury is transiting your second seventh and eleventh then you might get married okay or if mercury is indicating children or maybe mercury is lording the fifth house then there could be birth of child or anything related to that can happen okay and Mercury in general represents uh, communication skills as we all know. So now is the time that we do what we want to do. Which means suppose we want to join a new group. Now is the time that we do it. Okay. If we want to learn something new, then now is the time that we go and learn it. Now is the time that we stop procrastinating. Now is the time that we go into this action mode and get things done. And what I have seen is in my experience, Mercury's transit opens doors to new financial sources okay because jupiter and mercury are the significators of uh, multiple sources of income so if somebody is running jupiter mahadasha or mercury mahadasha antadasha and they are signifying the 10th house or the 11th house very strongly in their dasha then what can happen is 
the person can have multiple streams of income okay not only through job the person may end up doing business he may do two or three types of businesses okay so jupiter and mercury give this multiplicity because they are dual planets okay now if they are signifying uh, or they are placed in a challenging position like the dostana especially the 8th house or the 12th house then the opposite can happen then what would happen is you are losing money from multiple sources okay your health is down your education is down your career is down your family is down everything is down so it depends on the dasha okay what will happen but uh, considering that your dasha is indicating something whenever mercury transits then that thing gets activated i mean when it transits leo because leo is the sign of the sun where the planet feels as if it is like the sun sometimes so the planet feels that i am the sun okay because it is sitting in the sun's house so it's like uh, if you go to a palace sometimes if, if there's a king and the king has a friend then the friend is also treated as if he is like the king okay not exactly but the friend can also feel yes i am with the sun so i am like the sun you know maybe i am the sun <laughs> okay so uh, therefore i said because primarily mercury is the karak for the 10th house so therefore that is his main job that is his main duty the karaka is the main and the lordships which is the third house sixth house which means figuring out details the technicalities how to get things done okay that's the third house and sixth house is the groundwork the work which which is required to be done behind the scenes okay sometimes in front or sometimes behind the scenes so there that is how you can know what uh, what mercury is all about okay but mercury's primary agenda is money and finances because he is the karaka for the 10th house always remember that okay now of course there are many karakas like saturn and sun are also karak but mercury is the primary karak because mercury is the karak for skill if you have skill only then you can have a good profession okay skill i don't mean some technical skill like engineering or medical or anything skilled in any area it can be anything speaking it can be writing it can be uh, playing cricket football or dancing singing anything it can be any particular skill okay this is not a technical skill which is required and then you have a uh, hard work which is saturn okay discipline and structure and that that saturn and then the name and fame that you get that sun so these three planets signify the 10th house okay so therefore this transit of mercury uh, is quite an important transit in leo every year i have seen this transit becoming very important okay and uh, there you go if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and share it with somebody who wants to know what will happen when mercury transits leo and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and yes if you want a consultation from me regarding your dashas and this transit then please go down to the description section okay thank you very much and happy janmashtami to all of you